This is Jeff Williford with UTTylerPatriots.com here with the inside swoop with women's soccer player, freshman Nikki Gordon. Uh, Nikki, we want to talk to you about uh, what it's like being a freshman, uh, coming here, new experiences. First, talk about uh, what it's like being here at UT Tyler, your first month of classes and, and athletics. Mm -hmm. um, starting them both together was a little bit of a whirlwind, but uh, I, I found comfort having a lot of the soccer girls in my class and coming here before school. I got to know a lot of them right away, so I saw familiar faces everywhere. And they also helped me find my way around campus because it is a little bit bigger than I expected. Uh, what are some other differences? I know like you know high school you, uh, classes are different class sizes stuff like that what are some other differences that uh, you had to get used to here um, I had to get used to managing my own time a hundred percent sleeping is a rare commodity that I have come upon and naps are great um, but really being uh, completely on your own having to find your way uh, at the right time getting to the right places and really being focused on your academics um, I know you probably played uh, club soccer, you played high school soccer at Bowie High School in Austin. Uh, talk about what it's like, the difference between uh, high school club soccer coming to an NCAA school, uh, mm -hmm. a competitive school and a competitive conference. Uh, what are some of the differences? Well, uh, I played club really competitively and you can always say club's really intense, but it's, it's really nothing compared to college soccer. And uh, I was recruited to play uh, college, I knew I wanted to play college, but you never fully understand what college soccer is going to be like uh, until you hit that first practice and especially that first game, it all becomes real. Uh, could you describe, like I know people at home, some people have never been to college, they mm -hmm. never were an athlete in, in college or high school. Uh, what's your day like here at UT Tyler? What's a typical day when you have practice or a game and, and you have study hall? I know mm -hmm. you guys spend a lot of time. Describe kind of what a typical day is like for you to, to give them an idea of what all the stuff you put up with. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a, it's a funny phrase, eat, uh, sleep, soccer, but it's kind of what we do. Uh, wake up early, got 8 a.m. classes. Uh, I'm on and off all day. If I'm not in class, I'm either eating or in study hall. And uh, when I'm done with class, I've got a little bit of downtime, and then it's to soccer practice, and we work hard. We don't, we don't ever slack here, so it's about two, two and a half hours of hard work every day, and then get ready for the games. Um, okay, so with all that uh, business going on, do you have time for other things? What are, you know, trying to get the insights through up here. So what are, what are some things you do that don't necessarily have to do with, with school and with soccer? Who do you hang out with? Where do you go here in Tyler? Give, mm -hmm. us, give us the lowdown. Uh, well, my, my roommates and I, we enjoy eating food. Uh, we like making it. Uh, my One of my roommates, Kayla Aiken, she makes this fantastic strawberry dish. So we uh, made it for the coaches one day. Um, yeah, and for the staff. And for the staff. I, I ate some. It was heavenly. <laughs> um, we may just, uh, you know, just let you guys like have your own show, or, like a cooking <laughs> show. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else do you do? I know you, uh, you kayak. You mentioned kayaking. Mm -hmm. um, talk about that. Uh, my dad and I, him more than I, uh, we kayak competitively. It's kind of like marathon canoeing. He does extra long races, about 100 to 200, as long as races like 340 miles. Wow. I've done races uh, from five to like 20-ish miles. And uh, we uh, love being on Town Lake in Austin, just being in the water. It's kind of calming and it's a really good workout. Um, some people may think, wow, that's, that's crazy. You came from Austin to Tyler. Um, I love Tyler. I grew up around here. Uh, talk about uh, what drew you to here and uh, you know if, if, if it's you know kind of you can compare it maybe to Austin in some ways mm -hmm. or no? Yeah, uh, I was drawn here by the team and by Coach Webb. Uh, I got to campus and I fell in love with it immediately just because of how beautiful the environment is. Uh, you've got awesome nature everywhere and the hospitality people give you just really makes you want to come back. Sounds good. Um, last thing, um, if Maybe someone's at home, maybe a high school student uh, thinking about going to play NCAA uh, athletics somewhere. Uh, what would you? What would you be your advice to them? Like, what would you say to uh, maybe uh, maybe one word of advice? Um, commit yourself. Commit yourself a hundred percent. You need to know. Uh, you need to know that this is something you really want to be into for the rest of your life because it's it's what you do. You uh, commit your body and soul to the sport or other activities you do, and especially NCAA, you you really need to know that it's something you really want to do. Well, if you guys at home want to follow Nikki and the rest of the women's soccer team, you can always go to uttylerpatriots.com. Nikki, we thanks a lot for the inside swoop. Thank you.